Hello everyone and welcome into this chapter. This chapter is about the network discovery. This is not a cyber security control or a technical control we need to implement, but this is the sub part like being utilized by many of the cyber security control. So if we uh, install intrusion detection system in active query mode, it will use network discovery technology. If we put asset control mode, but uh, asset management uh, technology, but again that in active query mode, then this will uh, uh, it will use the network discovery protocols maybe or network performance monitoring or uh, IP address management or configuration chain management but all of this will need this network discovery so let's understand what is this network discovery so basically network discovery is a process that allows computers and devices to find one another when they are on same network so even if processes are not running in some protocol some tools like ideas or asset management or uh, network performance monitoring this type of tools are not running on the system even some devices keep finding each other keep checking the heartbeat of uh, devices which ever in uh, their adjacency so if you see like some controllers they also keep on checking like who is uh, beside me who is adjacent to me so they use multiple protocols like they use LLDP protocol they use ping they use uh, SNMP protocols so basically there are three primary discovery protocols which can be used in automatic mode or maybe in a, a semi-automatic or manual mode also so first is the simple network management protocol snmp this is a quite common protocol and it has multiple versions also so snmp has snmp v1 v2 and v3 so uh, v2 and v3 they have more security features like in v3 you need to add your username password passphrase as well as some certificate or encryption also but uh, snmp uh, v1 is a quite a simple protocol and uh, it is unsecure also but basically this is one of the primary discovery tools so second is the link layer discovery protocol which is also called lldp and don't get confused it with ldap ldap is a different protocol that is for active directory so this is a lldp this is link layer discovery protocol and third one is the ICMP so it is a ping message what we say but this protocol is ICMP now SNMP is an uh, standard protocol that allows teams to aggregate and organize data about the devices on the network so SNMP is uh, used in uh, uh, many of the tools whatever is available uh, so they use SNMP polling so what does like SNMP uh, finds these devices and those values of the devices are kept in an OID table and we often uh, query that OID table using the SNMP protocol to get the details like to, if you want to get the name or host name or uh, CPU loading or memory percentage usage or the hard disk uh, availability all those data whether it could be an endpoint or it could be a network device it uh, queries in this protocol to get all those details from that uh, device moving ahead is the LLDP LLDP is a vendor neutral protocol so if LLDP is enabled on the device it will transmit device information so regarding the enabling so if you go to Windows services also you will find that there is a SNMP service you need to enable that service similarly in switches also you need to enable that thing then only these things will work without enabling this particular service on the network device in the endpoint this uh, protocol will not help you to communicate or fetch data so similarly LLDP is enabled on device and it will transmit device information to its directly connected neighbor during regularly scheduled in interval so as I said like uh, whenever we connect multiple devices in a conjunction then all these devices try to identify each other at a regular interval so uh, this protocol is being used so uh, if you want to see this thing take a white circ dump of your uh, ICS network and you will find many LLDP communications are happening in your network so the neighboring devices store this data on management info information databases that is called also MIB databases and when we query this MIB data with MIB browser then we can get a list of all these devices along with their MAC ID or there are several other informations will be available there Coming uh, next, ping is a very different from SNMP and LLDP. It is a software utility that teams leverage to test the reachability of the devices on IP network. So this is the common like in, in general practice also if you want to find some device or some computer where it is situated, it is on network or not, then we try to ping that device. 
सो इट डज दिस बाई सेंडिंग ए इंटरनेट कंट्रोल मैसेज प्रोटोकॉल क्वेरीज एंड मेजरिंग द राउंड ट्रिप टाइम ऑफ द मैसेज सेंट फ्रॉम ऑरिजिनेटिंग होस्ट टू द डेस्टिनेशन कंप्यूटर एंड बैंक सो इट मेजर्स टाइम ऑल्सो दैट टी टी एल इज मैंशन इन वन एवर वी डू पिंग मैसेजेस ए टाइम टू लीव इज देयर एंड इफ यू सी देर इज अ वेरिएशन समटाइम इट कम्स टू सिक्सटी फोर मिली सेकेंड समटाइम वन सिक्सटी वन वन ट्वेंटी एट और इट्स टू फिफ्टी सिक्स ऑल्सो so that time to live determines like what is the round trip time of a packet to go go to that device and then come back again so similar to uh, ping there are trace route commands are also there you can utilize that also utilizes same icmp packet uh, protocol to find the route of the communication so this is about the network discovery so what is the purpose of network discovery so main purpose of ne network discovery is to create a map of your network automatic generation of the complete network map and then some of the solutions whatever is available in the market like nozomi clarity dark trace drago so these are the solutions industrial defender so they also create a complete network map of your infrastructure and then you will see that how many devices are in my level 1 and then how many devices are in my level 2 or level 3 or 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 other further levels so basically uh these solutions whatever is available they do both type of query they do active query they could do passive query so first these uh, these solutions uh will try to map your network using the passive technology so it will not directly interfere to any endpoint but most of the time what happens like uh, not all the devices are communicating every time so so uh, we need to do the active query also to get the accurate information so for active query what we have to do we have to connect this network performance monitoring into the active network so that it can call that device yes that day, uh, yes the, there there could be a interference on your uh, control uh, control system network as well but if we restrict or limit the number of queries and we can uh, uh, check how much bandwidth it is occupying then then it will not uh, impact the performance of your system as well so with passive and active querying uh we can create a complete uh, accurate network map and we can see like how which interfaces has uh, what type of communication happening and how much network loading is there so if there is a, any higher network load on some segment or between two devices we can pinpoint that so basically network device or network discovery is a is a technology or solution which can give you complete network related insights so you will get all those insights related to your network firewall network device uh, endpoints communication bandwidth cpu ram uses your uh, logs and so multiple thing multiple insights you can get so there are some major challenges also in in this uh, network discovery first is that in some oil and gas or or in some critical systems you will find there are air gap system so you cannot do anything with the air gap system that is already it is isolated from the main network so with limited network connectivity and spanning across multiple network discovering these networks is most critical job then we always want the full coverage of our system so there are other it system asset management tools out there but again most rely on the credentials or endpoint agents to effectively inventory and map network deployment is complex and result results do not include unmanaged devices so might be there are some systems which are already obsolete and they do not respond to the queries in initiated by uh, the latest uh, network discovery tool so full coverage is uh, uh, sometimes not possible but at least if we can reach to a uh, some optimum level of coverage then uh, after that some task we can do manually also then uh, moving forward system failure so system failure uh, uh, there is a possibility that if we use active querying uh, there could be system failure due to that old old devices or uh, they can uh, become a like uh, victim of a dos type of attack if we do multiple querying without restricting the number of queries or restricting the bandwidth utilization by these devices so what could happen like uh, if if system failure happens then it could lead to human injury environmental disaster damage equipment physical process dot so all of which could impact large portions of the population so this is the thing that this is the fear in in our uh, icis community that if we do active querying there could be a chance of system failure so what we can do for this we can test the 
solution for a very small network and then we can divide our complete network into smaller chunks and then primary secondary we have two networks we can go with the first secondary then we can go with the primary so if we reduce the exposure of of the uh, network uh, which could get impacted by this type of solutions then we can definitely avoid this system failure and we will have a very good output which can help us to create the network map and and uh, we will have a good insight of the data so this is the purpose of network discovery and uh, uh, hope you understood what is network discovery and why it is required and what type of protocols we use so that's all about the network discovery let's move to the next chapter